In the linked video we presented in detail the different types of rolling bearings as well as their fields of application. In this video we take a closer look at the designation system of rolling bearings. The dimensions of rolling bearings are standardized internationally. The basic bearing designation system according to ISO 15 for rolling bearings is a systematically structured standard system that defines the relationship between bore diameter, outside diameter, and the width or height of rolling bearings. This ensures the interchangeability of rolling bearings. Let us examine the structure of the dimension series system more closely using the example of the illustrated radial deep groove ball bearing. It belongs to dimension series 02. A dimension series always consists of two digits. The first number designates the so-called width series, and the second number the diameter series. Based on these two digits, specific width and diameter dimensions are assigned to each bore diameter. In our example, the dimension series 02 corresponds to a rolling bearing of width series 0 and diameter series 2. In the following, we omit the complete representation of the bearing and show it without rolling elements, so that only the relevant dimensions are visible, the diameter of the inner ring, the outer ring, and the width of the bearing. In comparison, let us consider a bearing with the next larger diameter series 3 while keeping the width series 0 unchanged. With the same bore diameter, the outer diameter of the bearing increases, and at the same time the width slightly increases despite the same width series. Conversely, with a lower diameter series, for example diameter series 1, the outer diameter of the bearing decreases, and the width also decreases accordingly. Bearings of diameter series 0 have the smallest outer diameters. The comparison of these bearings, all belonging to width series 0, shows that they are designed to be relatively narrow in relation to their outer diameter. Bearings of width series 0 are therefore relatively narrow bearings. In contrast, bearings with width series 1 are overall somewhat wider. Note that the outer diameters within the individual diameter series from 0 to 3 do not change. For a given bore diameter, a bearing of diameter series 2 always has the same outer diameter regardless of the width series. This ensures that a bearing of width series 0 can be easily replaced by a wider bearing of width series 1 with the same diameter series, provided that there is enough space on the shaft and in the housing for the wider bearing. Therefore, the shaft diameter and the housing diameter do not need to be adjusted when using the wider bearing. Bearings of width series 2 are designed to be somewhat wider compared to the other series. Even wider are the bearings of width series 3. Such wide bearings are used, for example, in heavily loaded bearings or in double row bearing designs. In summary, it can be stated that the width series describes the bearing width. This is smallest in width series 0 and increases steadily through 1 and 2 up to 3. The diameter series, on the other hand, defines the outer diameter and thus represents a measure of the bearing size. Here as well, the size increases from 0 through 1 and 2 up to 3. The combination of width series and diameter series is referred to as the dimension series. This standardization ensures that for the same bore diameter, the main dimensions of all bearings with the same dimension series number are identical, and bearings of different designs with the same dimension series are easily interchangeable. For example, a deep groove ball bearing of dimension series 12 can easily be replaced by a cylindrical roller bearing of the same dimension series 12, as it has the same main dimensions. In fact, besides the width series presented so far, there are additional variants. In later standard revisions, width series 4, 5, and 6 were introduced, which are intended for especially wide bearings. At the same time, extremely narrow bearings were added. Since the original standard already began with width series 0 as the narrowest bearing at that time, these particularly narrow bearings were designated as width series 8. This leaves the designation 7 free in the system for potentially defined bearings in the future, which however, have not yet been assigned. Additional diameter series were also added later. For example, diameter series 4 was introduced for larger bearings. Additionally, smaller bearings were added, which are designated in descending size as 9, 8, and 7. Due to these subsequent extensions of the width and diameter series, only for common bearings with width series from 0 to 6, and diameter series from 0 to 4 does a consistent numerical ascending order exist. It is important to note that this designation system basically applies only to radial bearings. In contrast, for thrust bearings, the standard ISO 104 uses a height series instead of the width series, which is marked with the numbers 7, 9, 1, and 2. Tapered roller bearings are specifically defined in the standard ISO 355. 
From the specification of the Dimension Series, for example, a rolling bearing of Dimension Series 19, the basic design of the bearing can be derived, such as whether it is small, large, narrow, or wide, however, no specific dimension is given yet. This is only determined by the specification of the bore diameter. Thus, the dimension series combined with the bore diameter clearly describes the bearing in its main dimensions. The bore diameter is also indicated by a code and appended after the dimension series designation. Historically, bore diameters of 10, 12, 15, and 17 mm were very common, which is why these diameters were assigned the codes 00, 01, 02, and 03. Deviating bore diameters between 20 and 480 mm are indicated in the designation by a code corresponding to one-fifth of the actual bore diameter. In our case, the bore code is 05. When multiplied by the factor 5, the actual bore diameter of 25 mm results. The factor 5 was chosen because many shaft diameters are standardized in 5 mm increments, so no decimal values arise when specifying the bore code. Deviating bore diameters that is, bore diameters smaller than 10 mm or larger than 480 mm, as well as those that cannot be represented in 5 mm increments, are indicated in the designation separated by a slash. For certain small deep groove ball bearings, spherical ball bearings, and angular contact ball bearings with a bore diameter of less than 10 mm, however, the diameter is written directly after the dimension series without a slash. Now that we know the dimensions of our rolling bearing with width series 1, diameter series 9, and bore code 05, we can look them up in the data sheets of rolling bearing manufacturers. However, one important designation is still missing, namely the indication of the specific type of rolling bearing, for example, whether it is a deep groove ball bearing, a tapered roller bearing, or a cylindrical roller bearing. The designation of the bearing type is placed immediately before the dimension series and is at the beginning of the bearing designation. The corresponding table lists the different bearing types and their respective codes, which can consist of single digits or single letters. In our case, the code 6 therefore indicates a single row deep groove ball bearing. The combination of bearing type and dimension series is also referred to as the bearing series. With the knowledge of the bearing series and bore code, a rolling bearing is clearly described in terms of design and main dimensions. However, manufacturers can add further information in the designation. Such suffix codes can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, so in this case, the specific documentation of the respective rolling bearing manufacturer must always be consulted. In our case, the combination 2RS1 indicates double-sided contact seals made of NBR. Additional codes may follow in the designation. For example, the combination TN9 stands for a ball-guided, glass-fiber reinforced cage made of polyamide 66. Other important suffix codes relate to specifications of the internal clearance, meaning the clearance between the rolling elements and the raceway. The addition C3 in our case indicates a larger internal clearance than normal. Manufacturers may use prefix codes for bearings that deviate from the basic design, which are placed before the bearing series. This can, for example, indicate that a bearing is made of special stainless steel or is particularly energy efficient. All bearing data can be found in the catalogs of the respective rolling bearing manufacturers. For our sealed bearing 61905 made of stainless steel, as explained earlier, the bore diameter is 25 mm. The outer diameter of the bearing is 42 mm with a bearing width of 9 mm. Additionally, dimensions for the outer diameter of the inner ring are provided, which in our case is 30.9 mm. The inner diameter of the outer ring can also be looked up here. For our bearing, it is 39.5 mm. Furthermore, the rolling bearing manufacturer specifies the abutment dimensions for the bore and shaft, since the shaft shoulder must not be smaller than a certain minimum diameter nor exceed a maximum diameter. Otherwise, the required support surface for the bearing inner ring is not insured, which can lead to insufficient axial support or assembly problems. In our case, the shaft shoulder must measure at least 27 mm in diameter and must not exceed 30.5 mm. Additionally, the bore diameter of the bearing housing must not exceed a maximum value of 40 mm. Other values, such as the dynamic load ratings and limiting speeds, can also be found in the catalogs of the bearing manufacturers. The illustration summarizes the various common bearing series. It should be noted that the digits marked in red are omitted in practice. To illustrate this, consider the deep groove ball bearing with bearing series 6, 
width series 0, and diameter series 4. The bore diameter with bore code 05 is thus 25 mm. According to the standard, the complete designation of the rolling bearing would be 60405. In practice, however, the width series 0 is not specified, so this bearing is listed under the common designation 6405.